All right, Derek, we've talked plenty throughout the football season. Thank you for joining us now. Uh, the big news, of course, is the changes that, that happened. Joker Phillips will not return. He'll coach the final two games. Uh, what was your reaction when you first heard the, heard the news that Joker would not be returning as coach? Well, um, I think after the weekend, I, I expected it. Uh, I think the consensus in talking with many people that uh, uh, it couldn't happen to a, a nicer person, better person, but unfortunately, uh, well, no, fortunately, uh, it's about results. And so uh, I think Mitch did the right thing. I think he, he always, uh, well, for the most part, he, he has deliberate decisions, and I think this was one, and I think it was the, the right decision. And, and I think uh, Coach Phillips knew that as well. So uh, it was expected. It was still disappointing as far as the person Coach Phillips is, and I know that uh, by direct experience, but uh, it is what needed to happen. Do you think Joker, uh, you know, a lot of times they say Kentucky is, is a dead-end job for coaches, it's their last head coaching gig. Do you think he'll land on his feet? Charlie Strong said yesterday he's a great guy. He knows a lot about football. He'll be fine. What do you see as maybe the next step for Joker Phillips uh, in his coaching career? Well, um, I think there's some opportunities when you coach at a, you know, SEC program. Um, albeit, you know, maybe not as successful as, as he had hoped. I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunities for Coach Phillips. Uh, I think uh, he is, like, like Coach Strong said, and, uh, a person of integrity, so that can only help his uh, chances to land the job that works for him and the school he ends up at. Where would you like to see? I know we had talked earlier in the year, and, and, and you liked Joker as a coach because he gave you – he really cared about the program. He was a Kentucky guy, and he was not going to keep his eyes looking all over the country. Now uh, Mitch Barnhart has to find a coach to come in here. What are some of the things that, that you want to see in a head coach uh, when a hire is made? Wow. Um, for me, I think uh, a winner – not necessarily. I, I think that's the big thing. Sometimes it's hard to really uh, quantify how you find a winner. Uh, the results are, are what it's all about. So I think we obviously need a winner. I, I think um, I think folks really would like to go to a little bit more passing offense. Um, focus on that. And there are some Kentucky natives and Kentucky, uh, other Kentucky coaches that. Uh, could bring that, but I think I think a, a winner and probably a, a more passing offense. If if I was to pick personally, what I'd like to see is there a name out there that you know a lot of names have been leaked for, for that possibly have interest from Sonny Dykes to uh, you know Dirk Hedder, the offensive coordinator. Is there anybody that really uh, jumps out at you that, that you find intriguing as a potential head coach at UK? Well, um, I, I think I'm a little biased because of, of the people that I'd like to see there I've had personal experience with, but, uh, but they are uh, winning coaches and passing coaches. Uh, I really like Sonny Dykes uh, and, and what he's put together because I also like his OC, Coach Franklin. He was, I, uh, um, I can honestly say when he was my receiver coach of all the receiver coaches, personally he got the most out of me. Um, so I'd like to possibly see that. I, I, I think, you know, Neil Brown has done a great job at Texas Tech. I've actually I played alongside of him. Um, I think maybe he's a little young yet. But, uh, but, I, but th those are some examples uh, of folks I'd love to see. I'd love to see Coach Lee back at Kentucky. Uh, fortunately, I think we have some options, you know. Um, like I said, I have some personal bias, but I'm glad we got this out of the way here early with uh, with Tennessee maybe coming online and Auburn and Arkansas possibly. There's some other SEC schools. So I'm, uh, I'm glad we've got the jump on, on hopefully finding and hiring a quality uh, coach. All right, Derek Abney, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we'll look forward. Maybe we'll, we'll chat again after they finally make the hire. Get your thoughts on that. Absolutely. As always, I love it, TJ, and don't hesitate to call.